Hi guys. I'm random. I'm real random. It is Thursday and it is 3.30 and I'm not normally live right now, but man flu, stinking man flu struck again. Um, Chase, my oldest, my second grader, got diagnosed with the flu yesterday. We went to the doctor, had the whole swab done, everything, and came back positive. Not that any of us are shocked because his father and his brother had it last week. So, Mama is home. That didn't work. Mama is home taking care of the kids. And I'm so stinking blessed to work for the company that I work for because um, my full-time job lets me do things from home when I need to. And so that's what I did all morning long. And now I finally showered to look like a human again. And we have to pick up the groceries from Hannaford before the apocalyptic snowstorm hits us. So I thought I would do a little bit of glam while I have the time because my other baby, my, my unique business, needs me too. Lunch lunch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, uh, just a little bit about today's glam. I was going to do sort of a more fun eye, so I customized this palette. Um, this is Marvelous, Nonsensical, Jealous, and Relaxed. So I'm going to show you like a pretty kind of very smoky but attainable smoky eye using this. And I'm also going to do a foundation routine using my pressed powder instead of my liquid foundation that I normally use. Um, I'm going to use the pressed powder only because I don't use it that often and I'm a person who kind of gets bored with doing the same thing all the time, but also because I love the way that it covers. And I know some people are sort of afraid of pressed powders because they're afraid that their face is gonna look cakey or something like that, but we don't have that problem with our unique products. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Touch Glorious Primer because even though I'm not using liquid foundation, it is still something that I wanna use. So I put, I put like a pea-sized amount on my fingers and just rub it in all over my face. So this is going to neutralize any pores that I have. It's gonna make sure that my foundation goes on perfectly, nice and smooth. And we just wanna make sure that we get it everywhere so that it's perfect. So granted, today's glam is gonna be a little bit more than I would normally wear on a sick day with children to only go to the grocery store but that's okay. That's what these things are for. So another thing with primer is that you want to um, let it sit on your face for a few minutes. So go make a cup of coffee, go make a protein shake, go let the dog out, go yell at your kids, whatever you need to do in that five minutes. Um, it's important to just let the product sit there for a few. Yes, Dell? Can I have cookies? I don't know if I have any cookies, do I? Oh, that thing's for cookies, right? Huh? Minutes ago, I wanted cookies. Minutes ago, you wanted cookies? Yeah. Okay. How about when I get done with this, we have a little cookie party before we go to pick up the groceries? Huh? Okay. Sounds good. Because I stay up here? You could stay up here, but you have to be kind of quiet, though, okay? Okay. Then, I'm going to sit no blankets. I'm going to be so why don't you, well, Mina's sitting on the blankets. You can go lay in my bed. No. Okay. Well, I have to do this video now, okay? Yeah. Thanks. I want to put cover on. Dylan. <laughs> Hi, Mel. I'm arguing with my, my Dylan. All right. You have to be quiet, though, please. No. Thank you. Okay, I so the... No. I don't care that you said no. You have to be quiet. But I don't. But you do. I just oh. want to push it. Don't push it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do because I'm going in with pressed powder is I'm going to start with my Skin Perfecting Scarlet Concealer because you always want to do um, 
cream and liquid first before you go in with powder because powder sets everything. So I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and I'm going to go spread it out under my eyes. Love you. Grum. Oh, hi, Lauren. We're doing a pressed powder routine, Lauren, which is why we're starting with concealer first. So the other thing with concealer is you kind of want to wipe it all the way in an upward motion. Like this, it's going to give you, but his life is so tough, girl. You have no idea. You have no idea. I, I just work here. That's all I can say about that. Okay. So everywhere that I put concealer on, I want to be nice and bright. I read an article on people.com today about this mother who put her kids in a chest freezer so she could have alone time in the bathroom for 10 to 15 minutes. That's how long she told the cops, or however, she was in the bathroom for. And when she came back, her children were frozen. And, like, they didn't make it. And, you know, it's, like, stories like that that I want to almost expose my kids to. To be like, do you see how good you have it? You could be in a chest freezer right now. Hi, Moro. How are you? Okay, so the areas that I'm highlighting are the areas that I want to be nice and bright. And I haven't put any foundation on. I just have concealer on, which is why I look a little cray, but it's fine because we're going to fix it. So the reason that you want to go up like this with your concealer is that it creates a lifting effect and it's going to just give your skin this like luminosity, number one, but also it is going to, I'm just going to neutralize around my eyebrows because I tweeze them and they're a wee bit red. So that's why. Okay. So the reason that you want to do the upward motion when you do your makeup like this is because um, it's going to give you a lifting effect so that your face looks slimmer. Like it already looks <laughs> not like a tomato face like I actually have. Um, so I neglected to wash my sponge and rather than interrupt what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to take a little setting spray and dampen my sponge. And that's a little trick if you ever don't have access to water, <laughs> if it's a concealer emergency. And I'm just going to go and press in my concealer because we want it to be all blended out before we do our pressed powder. Again, pressed powder is something that you layer on top of liquid. And you never want to put liquid on top of powder or it's going to look ratchet. Which for those of you who do not speak Ebonics, I got my compliments on my skin the other day and I have been letting my concealer bake in a while. I'm Lauren, look at you. What a good little student you've become. Wait until you see the new skincare line. Holy moly. I just completed earlier this afternoon on my lunch break. I completed our unique skincare uologist course. Um, so we actually had to do like online tests and we had to watch a lot of videos and learn about the new products and everything. So basically short segue really quickly before I'll do a whole post on the new skincare but basically so you know how our old skincare we used to have different we had two cleansers three day creams one night cream and an and a night serum hi Kaya well now we have a cleanser a day cream a night cream and a serum so you buy one of the products or all of the products and you pick three boosters for each product so if you say I have big pores and I'm concerned about fine lines and oil control, then you would pick the firming 
oil control pore refining boosters and you add them to your cleanser and you can customize each product with three boosters. So basically, all together, there are 40,000 different blends of skincare, but you completely tailor them to exactly what your skin needs. So I'm beyond excited to get it because for once, you know how we all have that drawer under the sink in the bathroom with a whole bunch of products that we don't use anymore because our skin needed this thing at that one time, so we bought it and used it for like two days until the problem was gone, and then it just sat there until it expired or until I looked at it three years later and threw it out. You're not going to have that problem anymore because you're literally able to say on a day-to-day -day basis, what does my skin need, and you're going to be able to give it just that. So I'm freaking pumped about this skincare. Like, no more wasting money, no more wasting product. I can't do those things. Like, I just don't have the time. I don't have the effort. It makes me feel terrible when I throw away things that I don't use anymore, that they didn't work, that I spent money on and I didn't use. Like, that kills a little portion of my soul. So, I'm trying not to do that, and this, like, totally fixes that for me. Okay, so the only thing we have on is concealer right now. Hi, Kaya. And now I'm going to go in with pressed powder, and I'm going to go in with the shade Poplin. And our powder concealer brush, that's not it. This is it. And I'm just going to go in and do my foundation. If you don't use pressed powder foundation, you would love ours. I'm obsessed with it. It's full coverage. It's so easy to use. It blends out like a dream. And I'm only going on the areas that I haven't concealed. Like so, not that I don't love watching you, but it's really Adriana watching because I think this is just, <laughs> hi Adriana. There will come a time, girl, where you do your makeup and you will be the fiercest in the land and you won't have that awkward phase like the rest of us had when we were in middle school and we had round brushed bangs and blue eyeliner and eyebrows that just should not ever exist. Everybody, you know you had it too. It wasn't just me. Okay. Okay. So that is the pressed powder in the shade Poplin. But look at that, that's full coverage. It goes on, it's not cakey at all. My, st my skin still has a lot of glow to it. And how easy was that? Like, no finesse necessary. This is a great one to throw in your purse too. Um, if you are someone who has to continually touch up your makeup throughout the day, there is something wrong with your skincare. Um, and we will have products to help you with that. So especially, usually people that have to touch up their makeup during the day are people that are overproducing oil. So using oil control products and exfoliators will definitely help you with that. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to go over the areas that I concealed so that they stay really nice and bright. Hi, Kayla. And we're going to do a really pretty smoky, yet accessible, little bougie, but not too much eye. I needed just something today because all I did was work and wait on the children. It's a little tiresome. Okay, so now let's go in and contour. Contour. So I'm going to go in with Gingham Pressed Powder. And so it's a few shades darker than my complexion is. So I'm starting towards the top of my ear and going down towards the corner of my mouth. Don't go too far in. Kind of stop right about here. Or else it's going to look like you have a 5 o'clock shadow. and I don't want to be the one that instru instructed you to do that. Okay. 
the reason that we contour and add warmth back into our face is we kind of erase that a little bit when we go in and highlight and put foundation on. So you definitely want to bring a little bit of warmth back to your skin. It just gives you like that really healthy glow, especially this time of year when we're expecting snowpocalypse here in good old upstate New York. Do your chin and your jawline. Blend it down your neck. Again, we don't want that old junior high issue. And then we're going to put a little bit just on the sides of our nose to warm it up and thin it out. Just kind of refine it a wee bit. Okay. All right. That's good now. So we're going to go in with a little bit of Barbie Pink blush. I can never open this one. Here it is. So this is the shade Stunning. Because I'm keeping everything else pretty neutral, I wanted a little bit of color on my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with Stunning. Mom? Yes, sir? He's making me so angry. Why is he making you so angry? Because, because, because that thing is not connecting. What's not connecting? The thing they built. Oh, okay. Don't put your finger in that. Um, I'm sorry. And I'll be down to help you soon. Okay? Yeah. Can't we all just play nice in the sandbox? Hi, Nicole. So, obviously, it's not as obnoxious on as it is in the box, right? We're just dusting that like right on the top of the contour and just kind of like rolling it onto the apple of my cheek. But super pretty, very flush, nothing cray. Not as crazy as you thought it would be. I just use this giant, um, this is a Real Techniques super powder brush. And I just kind of like blend it out a little bit so it's super soft. But I love the way that everything goes on. This is all powder. All powder. Does not look like my skin is still glowing. We're still good. Okay, so let's go in. Let's do brows first because I want to get the brows right before we do eyeshadow. Okay, so this is my gem. This is my real MVP. My brow... Uh, obsession palette in the shade brunette and I just go in the difference when you do now I have a decent amount of eyebrows there are certainly a lot of people that have less eyebrows than I do but the difference when your eyebrows are on fleek and when they are not is kind of amazing so we're definitely gonna go in and fix us up some brows and I just tweezed mine and I kind of edited them back a little bit in the front. So let's see how we do. So you do the top line and the bottom line of your brows. And that basically shows you your shape. And then you kind of just fill it in like a coloring book. And you start back here at the arch where your eyebrows are naturally going to be their thickest and their darkest. And just kind of fill back to the tail. And then I just gently go in front of that and fill in. And make it a little bit lighter and a little sparser because the front of your brows is going to be the lightest and the sparsest naturally. So we wanna make sure that we're following those sort of like God-given rules. And then I use these really small like hair-like strokes up in the front to mimic how your hair naturally grows. All right, and now this one. And 
we have crying. Dylan is a drama queen. And he knows that crying gets him his way. So he likes to pull out that little ace up his sleeve as much as he can. Speaking of the baby of the family, I get it. But I'm over it too. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna fill in this beauty right here. And I know that there are a lot of people that really extend their brows out more towards the center. I tend to not go really much in front of where my brows naturally are because I just like, I don't know, I kind of let the natural curve of my brows do what it needs to do. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and do eyeshadow. So this is one of the kudos items of the month. So I customized this. If you were to get a palette with kudos, you get a palette, you get an epic mascara, and you get a splash liquid lipstick of your choice for $72. So today I'm doing Marvelous, Nonsensical, Jealous, and Relaxed. And I'm also gonna use Relaxed as my highlight to show you kind of how our um, eyeshadows are multi-purpose, and I'm also going to use Marvelous as my eyeliner today. So I'm going to do sort of a smoky eye, so it's going to be a little bit darker than I normally go, but honestly, when I do my makeup super neutral, I like it because it looks very natural, but I like my makeup to show up a little bit because there's nothing worse than spending a lot of time on your makeup, and you're like, does this look so natural? Nobody cares that I did this so I always go a little bit darker just so I can get the accolades you know okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this shade right here jealous and I'm going to put that sort of blur it out on the crease of my eye and over my whole eyelid like that jealous is one of our new shades that we just launched And it always makes me think of Nick Jonas when I use it. But just that shade alone is gorgeous, is it not? It's like a pinky taupe. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to go in with non uh, You know what? I'm going to go in with Marvelous, and I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I have a angled brush like this, angled shadow brush, and I just wet it, and I dip it in Marvelous, which is like a dark chocolatey brown. Oopsie daisy, mayday. You don't have to be quite that close, it's a little, a little aggressive. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna smudge this right on my lash line. What I love about using a powder as an eyeliner is that your eyeliner collection has now like multiplied. It gives you a super effortless application and you can blend it out effortlessly. I'm just gonna kind of like wing it out a wee bit. And I'm just gonna dust a little bit of it on my lower lash line. Now, if you wanna blend this out further, just wait until it feels totally dry on your face before you go and do that. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow shade Marvelous. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and use Nonsensical, which is this really pretty, like a burgundy brown. And I'm gonna go in with my fluffy crease brush. And I'm gonna place this right in the crease of my eye. Oh, 
like that. What I love about the fluffy crease brush is that there's so much precision to it, but you don't have to be like scared of it. It's so easy to use. And I'm just kind of like stamping it in there, but you can see like what a pretty sort of like plummy brown that is. Isn't that so pretty? All right, now we're gonna go in with the shade Relaxed, which is this pinky sort of metallic and I'm going to use my unique deluxe brush. The deluxe brush is great because it is an angled brush and a sponge brush so I'm going to go in with the angled side and I'm just going to kind of stamp this right in the center of my eye and you're going to see how it just like brightens up my eye look. It gives it like a little bit of glam without being over the top. And I'm just kind of stamping this where I want it to go. It's super easy because even though these are powders, they are very creamy powders. So they go on like a dream. And I'm just going to take, it's kind of like, it kind of looks like a bullet right there. It's a rounded sort of tapered brush. It's a little stiff. And I'm gonna go in with Nonsensical, which is that like burgundy plummy brown shade. And I'm just going to stamp my crease with that. Cause that is a very precision brush. And I'm gonna go a little bit below here and just like smudge that into my eyeliner right there. If you get a little bit of fallout, don't worry. We did our translucent setting powder. So you're gonna be good to go. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. All right, I am going to do my Epic Mascara now. I do two coats of Epic. The first coat kind of acts as like a primer. And then the second coat sort of lengthens, separates, does all the things that you want out of it. Mascara and more. Without using multiple products. Oh, and then I'll use whatever I have left over on my wand to do my lower lashes. I like to be very conservative with the mascara that I put on my lower lashes because I try to avoid tarantula lashes like the plague. Also, when I'm done with this and my mascara is totally dry, we're going to experiment with these um, wispy Ardell magnetic lashes that I got on Amazon. Now I love me a full sexy eyelash, right? I tried to put these, on. <laughs> I tried to put these on the other day and it was like a comedy show. There's apparently this girl that does like edibles and then she does her makeup. That's who I felt like I was when I was trying to do this. I'm like, why is this so hard for me? I'm pretty good at this kind of stuff. Couldn't do it. So I cut the lashes back a little bit because I think they were just way too big for my face. So we'll see now if they fit. All right, so I'm gonna go in. I have a little bit of concealer left on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go in and just clean up that eye like this for just a really precision uplift look. Hi, Richira. And I'm going to grab my sponge and I'm just going to press that in because it's got a line on it. The edge is what I want. Look at her. Okay. 
amazing. Just adding a little bit of concealer right there just like brightens and pulls up your eye. Gives you so much more eye drama. It's the only kind of drama I'm interested in at 34. Thank you very much. All right, so let's try these puppies. Now, like I said, I cannot promise that this is gonna go well. In fact, I can almost guarantee you it's not, but if you can see, I cut a pretty good amount off of these suckers because they were just way too much. And normally I like too much. Too much normally goes pretty well with my life, but in this it did not. All right, so these are the Ardell. There's a bottom and a top, and there's a little magnets on them. And so they're going to click together and make sweet love on your eyes. So let's see if my wish comes true and this actually happens. Stay tuned. For anyone watching, you know, please say a small prayer because I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, so number one and Number two. Yep, that didn't work. Let's try it once more. I'm like sweating right now with anticipation of this possibly not working. All right, so ready? Number one. That's not good. Let's try again with a tool that's not magnetic, because I think that's part of the problem. Where are my tools that are not magnetic? All right, one more time for the cheap seats in the back. I swear, I have a college education. I'm pretty good at this kind of thing, I thought. But it might not be my bag. Something just tells me the glue on ones are gonna be more for me. Okay, so. Come on, Neil. Dudes. Does anyone have, <laughs> has anyone used the magnetic lashes with any success? Tell me now. How does that look? That one feels okay, although I can like literally see it hanging off of my eye. Maybe it's just that I need to like grow accustomed to them being here. Let's try the other eye and then we'll make a judgment call. Okay, so let's try this baby. On the top. Maybe this is just one of those circumstances that's like, oh, you really have to practice. I don't like those circumstances, by the way. I'm someone who needs to be spectacular at it the first time, in case you hadn't noticed. All right, number two. This could be like on my blooper reel, this situation. I will say that it's helping that I have mascara on because it's like helping them stay in place so I can place them. What's happening now? Nope. Y'all. Hi, Krista, we're putting on fake lashes. It's an exercise in futility, like raising children. We're doing our best. Ish. Okay. Nope. So, update, doing the second eye is not easier than doing the first. 
You've all been warned. Magnetic eyelashes, great in theory, not as great in practice. That looks crazy. You guys, should I just ditch them? One more try, just one more try. Hi, Christine, we're putting on fake lashes. It's not going well. My eyes are watering and ruining my eyeshadow. <gasps> I just needed something to go really well today. I thought it was gonna be this. Turns out not so much. One more time. This is why you should just be grateful with what God gave you. New motto. All right, it's on. And I'm going to give it a few minutes while I finish my makeup to see if it just looks like tarantulas have invaded my house or if I could actually pull this look off. Right now, I feel like I need to call the Orkin man, but we'll give it a few minutes just to see if we can hang. Okay, so they're on. All right, I am, I'm now going to go in with Relaxed, which is the highlight that I used on my eyes, and I'm gonna use it as a highlighter on my face. Look how pretty. This is why I love our products, because I can use them for multiple purposes and it just like gave my face so much glow, blended my makeup. Amazing, amazing. Tell my nose, I like Cupid's bow. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do our lips. So I'm going to use Sympathetic Splash Liquid Lipstick and Prim Eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in and gently line my lips. So because Prim is an eyeliner and not a lip liner, it is a little bit brown, honestly, but when you smudge it in, it looks so much better. So I just go and kind of run my finger on that line. And just soften it. And now I'm gonna go in with Sympathetic Splash Liquid Lipstick. One of our new neutrals. It's kind of like a peachy one. It's got some tone to it. And our Splash Liquid lipsticks work best with dry lips. So don't like put oil on them or chapstick or lick them. And I love this applicator because it allows me to blend it in to my lip liner. And I'm actually going to add just a little bit of sparkling Splash Liquid Lipstick to the center to like ombre it out. Because I like that definition in there. All right. Now, maybe it's just that I'm not used to looking at myself with fake lashes, but I just feel like they look like a little porn star. Let's go with a little bronzer. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bronzer in the shade Hermosa. Just 
just to keep that glow up happening. Look at that relaxed. Hello. Hello. All right, so before we do that, we're gonna set our makeup with Touch Behold Translucent Setting Spray. This will make your makeup stay in place all the live long day, won't go anywhere. And you can see that my face looks like a little dewy because of it. It is wet and it dries to a matte finish. I cannot get over that relaxed as highlighter. Look at how pretty that is. Damn, Gina, damn. Okay, it's drying, I can feel it. But look how pretty that eye look is. Just like a totally accessible, kind of a smoky eye. Not, I mean, the eyelashes are a little bit much, but you know what? Sometimes we have to be a little bit much. I just, I think that's the truth. Sometimes it just feels good to go a little over the top. No apologies, no white flags, go big or go home. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. Isn't that another one that I like to use? All right, there she blows. There is our, I'm sick with the, God, I'm homesick with the man flu. Part two, glam. By the way, friends, if you are doing macros or if you're just trying to drink more protein or eat more protein or get more protein in your diet or you're just having a healthier 2019, this is black coffee, a scoop of chocolate, um, whey protein. Uh, what else do I have in here? A scoop of collagen peptides and a half a cup of almond milk and it is serious oh and I blended it with ice seriously delicious and I think it's only about like 120 calories maybe 130 calories including the protein in here so definitely good for you really really tasty and this is like my go-to snack in the afternoon when I need like a chocolate fix or I'm just totally dragging you know what at three o'clock um, this is a good one. I'm also ordering powdered greens to add to like smoothies and stuff like that because it's got like three servings of vegetables and apparently you don't really even taste it, but it just like amps up the nutritional value of whatever you're eating. So I'm all about that. But anyway, loves, thank you for logging on. I will be home again tomorrow. Hopefully not a victim of the man flu myself. Um, but I will try to hop on tomorrow afternoon and do another glam look for you. And then I will be on on Saturday and Sunday. So I love you. If you guys are interested in the kudos this month, definitely hop on. Um, if you are interested in doing what I do or just getting products for cheaper, you can pre become a presenter under me, um, which means that you get a makeup bag like this filled with $303 worth of our best products, full-size products, for $99. And at that point, people can buy from you or you can purchase your products from yourself and um, you get the commissions on them. You can still host parties for yourself and get the Y cash. Like the opportunities are endless. So I am definitely looking for anyone who wants to do this to contact me um, and I'd love to hook you up or if you know somebody who would be really great at this um, this would be perfect honestly for anybody who wants to make extra money who stays at home with their kids and has a little bit of free time to do this for college girls I wish I knew about this when I was in college because this would have been the best opportunity for me when I was going to SUNY Albany. So if you have any college friends or people that are going through aesthetic school or something like that, it's really great for anybody. So get at me or let me know if you or someone you know is interested or if you just like some makeup yourself, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a um, post about all of our new skincare products that are coming out. I'm really excited to share them with you because it is honestly changing skincare to be a completely custom experience and I feel like that is the one thing that is really missing in skincare is that 
there are not always one size fits all solutions to our problems like acne. The problem I always had with skincare was, especially when my skin was really bad and I was struggling with other products, I would use the, the products to fight blemishes, but it would so badly dry out my skin that my skin was dull and my skin was gray. Um, it was over drying it. So then I was starting to like overproduce oil. So now you're able to say, okay, I want to combat fine lines and wrinkles. I want to control oil and I want to have glow to my skin. And you can literally do that in one product now. So what I love about it is it doesn't just tackle one problem. It tackles multiple problems and not everybody's skin is the same. You might not have the same acne that I have, or you might not have the same areas of fine lines. So this really gives us the opportunity to make our own skincare. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to tell you all about it. I am now a uologist, which means that I passed my training course in knowing all about skincare and how to help you with it. So if you are looking for skincare, I am your girl. Don't go to anyone else. I love you and I will see you later.